All right, Mark Meredith joins us now. So Mark, in the first 12 minutes of Director Comey's hearing, Comey dropped what some would consider kind of a bomb on former Attorney General Loretta Lynch, saying that she, quote, directed him when looking into Hillary Clinton's emails not to call it an investigation, but a matter. So what's that reaction been like in Washington after this, quote, bomb has been dropped? Fair, and this is what's so interesting is there's so much happening all at the same time. And you're asking specifically about these Loretta Lynch comments. What you could tell, though, was the reaction that was happening from the Republicans there on the Senate Intelligence Committee and that they certainly said, well, wait a second, this is certainly something that we're going to want to look more into. However, Democrats really trying to steer the conversation back to the main point of today, which was, of course, learning more about what led up to uh, Director James Comey's termination earlier this year and those encounters that he had with President Trump and whether or not he felt that this really was anything that was justified when it came to his termination. Farron? And Mark, you know, a lot of it surrounding Comey's memos, and he actually came out today and said that he gave copies of his memos to a friend who was a law professor at Columbia University, also a former FBI um, agent, in the hopes of giving it to a reporter to call for a special prosecutor. So we're kind of learning that Comey is in fact one of these leakers. Are many in Washington taking this as spite or sympathy to Comey doing this? Well, Farron, I think we also have to be very clear that the director says after he was fired, he took this personal note. And we don't believe it to be all of them that were taken during the interactions. However, it was this one specific incident after the meeting in the Oval Office in February where he felt that President Trump was pressuring him to intervene in the Michael Flynn investigation. Director Comey did, as you say, admit to getting that information to a friend up in New York who eventually got that way to the New York Times. But the reason Comey is saying he did this because he felt that the president was going to slander him, that he was going to lie and that it was going to be a cover up. Now, as to your point, the president's uh, lawyers tonight are saying that uh, Director Comey was a leaker and that this was unacceptable to him. But right now, for the most part, the reaction we're seeing is more about the interaction with Flynn as opposed to the specifics of the note. Fair? And and also, you know, on the committee, you have Democrats, you have Republicans. It seems like some on that committee, part of their agenda is to get Trump on these charges of obstruction of justice. Does Washington think that that happened today? And then where do we go from here? Well, Farron, this investigation is going to continue, not just the one that we're seeing in the Senate Intelligence Committee. This is still going to happen at the Justice Department, and they're the ones that are going to make that ultimate decision. Also, so much of this hearing was also focused on Russian influence in the election. We can't underscore that enough that there are still so many questions as to what happened last year. Did it affect the outcome of the race at all? There's been no signs of that, but there are still those questions that are lingering. And you have to also remember this. There were so many questions not answered today by Comey because this was a public session. They wanted to do it behind closed doors because national security is involved in this. Farron? All right, Mark Meredith reporting for us in Washington, D.C. Mark, thanks so much for joining us.